Hey everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. And you may be wondering why this particular Topo Talk isn't the Stone Lantern. And I am going to get back to the Stone Lantern, but I've been very busy. And this example popped up on the Discord, so I thought we could talk about this. And this is a consistent question that I get. We've got this uh, gun sight here. So we've got basically got a cylinder with some extrusions on it. And you can see it's got a little bit of sharpening in there. That sharpening looks pretty good. It's based on something else that was asked on the Discord. But if I turn on subdivision surface and I just bring it up to two, uh, obviously that's a mess there, that huge pole. But how are we going to sharpen that? So what we could do is, this is what people generally tend to do when they don't have experience is you know, put in their loops. And this loop is pretty safe in here but what about this section here you know what do we do do we do we put one in there and then do something like that well obviously if we do that it's going to start to sharpen it we've still got that pole which is a problem you know so we could carry this up through here and just i'll just use the knife tool for now and just carry that up through there like that and then it's still kind of a problem there so what do we do? We've got to cut this in and back through here like this. Look at all those loops that are running through that model. So if we just dissolve that, it's going to tighten that corner up. It's got, gotten rid of that um, pole there, but it's not really still working. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but look at that massive seam there. And this is the big problem, right? You can't just put loops in uh, to this kind of level of topology on a curved surface and expect that it's going to stay curved. Of course it's going to sharpen it. So that's not ideal. So I'm going to undo all of that. Get rid of all of that. And let's take a look at this. So the only real choice with this is to start with more geometry. Okay, so start with more uh, sections in the cylinder. So I'm presuming this started with a cylinder and this was extruded out. So you've got to start with more to allow you to put the control cuts in and you know not have pinching. So let's take a look at this. If we did do it properly without the excess, without the extra geometry to start with and see how the pinching looks. So if I bring that in there like that and you know you know, maybe I'll just take that out a little bit. So what I'd have to do, if I just put a loop in there. See, I don't want to start doing that because it's going to run a loop through the model. So I'll just cut this manually. So, so this would come down here and go to there. And this would come up. And this would sharpen this section like that. And here we terminate it up to this vert here. So then we take this, this, and this, and dissolve. Whoop, we've gotten rid of the wrong one, not that one. This one. There we go. And dissolve, right? So technically that looks okay. It's pretty nice. Uh, got to get rid of that one. But you're going to see the problem as soon as we put the subdivision surface back on. We could run a loop through here. Now, again, I'm going to have, let's see, I'm going to have that problem. Now, that will run through there. Okay, so I'll just do that. And that will tighten that up a little bit. And I'll just bring it up to two again. And, I mean, it's not bad, depending on how close you are to the model, but you are getting that pinch, right? It, you, know, you saw it, I saw it. We're getting that going on, right? And that's not ideal. So this really could benefit from an extra level of subdivision on that cylinder. So I'll just undo again and just turn that off. And I'm going to do this manually, okay? I'm just going to drop in a loop there. And I did try to use set flow, the free add-on. I thought that would work perfectly, but it didn't. It just went all crap, which was a bummer. So what I'll do is I'll just, it's, it's, this is just going to be a not perfect, but it's just going to be give you an idea about how it would look with the extra geometry. So I'm just going to 
Uh, let's see, bevel that. And just do that, okay? Now you can see it's added a little bit of uh, curvature there, but it's still going to be a little flat there. So I wouldn't do it this way. I would create the cylinder with double the geometry before I extruded this section out. But what that's going to do, if I bring this loop in now, it's going to give me this, uh, this square here that's closer to that point there, okay, that vert. So now if I just cut this in, I'm just going to bring it down to here and to there, if I can see that. And do this this way this time, just bring that one up to there like that. Cut this one in. I'm just cutting these manually for now, just to give you the idea. And this one has to come down and across like that. Okay. So this one, again, this one, and this one. <laughs> again, I chose the wrong one. Okay, like that. And I'll just bring this up a bit. Just slide that up. You can see how this is much smaller now. It's half the size because we have double the geometry on the cylinder. So if we bring that loop in there now, and look, look how that runs around there now. Because I've done this borrowed edge uh, setup here, that's not going to work because we haven't got it down here. So I'll just quickly, you may not have this uh, add-on, but I'm just going to quickly use my uh, slide edge. Just the slide edge add-on. If I can get it. Slide edge, there we go. I'm just going to slide that extra loop out if I can just... And that's why I have slide edge, very handy. So now let's take a look at that. Remembering it's not going to be perfectly round here, but if we turn that back on, two and two, ah. So see, we can see how we're adding that uh, problem here by, by doing that bevel. But what I want you to focus on is that, okay? And that's basically it. So again, when you're working uh, in subdivision with curved surfaces like this, you must start with enough geometry on the cylinder, okay, or on the curve. Lock that in, get that in place, and then add your detail and your control cuts, okay? So if you have any questions, leave a comment, but I'll see you in the next Topo Talk.